కృపావార్త కార్యక్రమమునకు స్వాగతం నేటి ధ్యానాంశము మరణము డెత్ మరణపు లోయలో నేను సంచరించనను ఏ అపాయమునకు నేను భయపడను కీర్తనల గ్రంథము ఇరవై మూడవ అధ్యాయము దో ఐ వాక్ త్రూ ద వ్యాలీ ఆఫ్ షాడో ఆఫ్ డెత్ I fear no evil. Psalm 23 Marana potaro lalo maro akamora lida unnata durga mai rakshana srunga mai Marana potaro lalo maro akamora lida ఉన్నత దుర్గమై రక్షణ శృంగమై తన ఆలయములో నామోర వినెను ఆదరెను ధరణి భయ కంపముచే ఆదరెను ధరణి భయ కంపముచే యహోవా దయగల వారి పై దయ చూపించును కఠినులయడలావి కటము చూపును దయగల వారి పై దయ చూపించును కఠినులయడలావి కటము చూపును గర్విష్ఠుల యొక్క గర్వమునచును సర్వము నెరిగిన సర్వాధికారి సర్వము నెరిగిన సర్వాధికారి యహోవాశత్రువులు నను చుట్టినను నరకపు పాసములరి కట్టినను నా శత్రువులు నను చుట్టినను నరకపు పాసములరి కట్టినను వరదవలి భక్తిహీనులు పోర్లిన వరదవలి భక్తిహీనులు పోర్లిన విడు అకమము ఎడ బాయని దేవా విడు అకమము ఎడ బాయని దేవా యహోవా ఔరుషము గల ప్రభు కోపింపగ పార్వతములపు నాదులు వణకును పౌరుషము గల ప్రభు కోపింపగ పార్వతములపు నాదులు వణకును తన నోటా నుండి వచ్చిన యాగ్ని దహించి వేసెను వైరుల నెల్లన్ దహించి వేసెను వైరుల నెల్లన్ మేఘముల పై ఆయన వచ్చును మేఘములను తన మాటుగ జేయును మేఘముల పై ఆయన వచ్చును మేఘములను తన మాటుగ జేయును ఉరుములు మెరుపులు మెండుగ చేసి అపజయమేచును అపవాదికిని అపజయమేచును అపవాదికిని 
నాది పమును వెలిగించువాడు నా చీకటిని వెలుగు గజేయును నాది పమును వెలిగించువాడు నా చీకటిని వెలుగు గజేయును జలరాసుల నుండి బలమైన చేతితో జలరాసుల నుండి బలమైన చేతితో వెలుపల చేర్చిన బలమైన దేవుడు వెలుపల చేర్చిన బలమైన దేవుడు యహోవా నా కాళ్ళను లెడి కాళ్ళు గజేసి ఎత్తైన స్థలముల శక్తితో నిలపి నా కాళ్ళను లెడి కాళ్ళు గజేసి ఎత్తైన స్థలముల శక్తితో నిలపి రక్షణ కేడెము నాకందించి క్షయము గతన పాక్షము చేర్చిన క్షయము గతన పాక్షము చేర్చిన యహోవా యహోవా జీవము గల దేవా బహుగాస్తులకు అర్హుడనీవు యహోవా జీవము గల దేవా బహుగాస్తులకు అర్హుడనీవు అన్యజనులలో ధన్యత చూపుచు హల్లెలుయా స్తుతి గానము చేసేద హల్లెలుయా స్తుతి గానము చేసేద యహోవా మరణము డెప్త్ దో ఐ గో త్రూ ద వ్యాలీ ఆఫ్ షాడో ఆఫ్ డెప్త్ ఐ ఫియర్ నో ఈ విల్ ఫర్ థార్ విత్ మీ థై రాడ్ అండ్ థై స్టాప్ ద విల్ కంఫర్ట్ మీ మరణాంధకార లోయర్లో నేను సంచరించను ఏ అపాయమునకు నేను భయపడను నీవు నాకు తోడయుందు నీ దండమును నీ దుడ్డు కరయు నన్ను ఆదరించను మంచి కాపరి మా ప్రభు ఏసే మా కొరకు ప్రాణమిచ్చే గొప్ప కాపరి మరణమన్నను భయము లేదు లే మధురమైన ప్రేమతో మమ్ము కాయులే మరణమన్నను భయము లేదు లే మధురమైన ప్రేమతో మమ్ము కాయులే మంచి కాపరి మా ప్రభు ఏసే మా కొరకు ప్రాణమిచ్చే గొప్ప కాపరి అంధకారలోయలో సంచరించిన లేదులే మాకే భయం అభయము తానే శత్రువుల మధ్యన మాకు భోజనం అభిషేకం ఆనందం కృపాక్షేమం బ్రతుకు నిండుగా పొంగి పొరలగా బ్రతుకు నిండుగా పొంగి పొరలగా అన్ని తావులందు తాను తొడయ్యుండును మంచి కాపరి మా ప్రభు ఏసే మా కొరకు ప్రాణమిచ్చే గొప్ప కాపరి మరణమన్నను భయము లేదు లే మధురమైన ప్రేమతో మమ్ము కాయులే మరణమన్నను భయము లేదు లే మధురమైన ప్రేమతో మమ్ము కాయులే మంచి కాపరి 
మా ప్రభుయేసె మా కొరకు ప్రాణమిచ్చ గొప్ప కాపరి పచ్చి కాబయళ్లలో పరుండ జేయును శాంతాజలాల చెంత నడిపించును పచ్చి కాబయళ్లలో పరుండ జేయును శాంతాజలాల చెంత నడిపించును బ్రతుకు నిండుగా పొంగి పొరలగా అన్ని తావులందు తాను తొడయ్యుండును మంచి కాపరి మా ప్రభు ఏసే మా కొరకు ప్రాణమిచ్చే గొప్ప కాపరి మరణమన్నను భయము లేదులే మధురమైన ప్రేమతో మమ్ము కాయులే మరణమన్నను భయము లేదులే మధురమైన ప్రేమతో మమ్ము కాయులే మంచి కాపరి మా ప్రభు ఏసే మా కొరకు ప్రాణమిచ్చే గొప్ప కాపరి మరణము డెత్ దో ఐ గో త్రూ ద వ్యాలీ ఆఫ్ షాడో ఆఫ్ డెత్ ఐ ఫియర్ నో ఈ విల్ ఫర్ తవార్ విత్ మీ థై రాడ్ అండ్ థై స్టాప్ దే కంఫర్ట్ మీ సామ్ ట్వంటీ త్రీ గడాంధకారపు లోయలో నేను సంచరించను ఏ అపాయమునకు నేను భయపడను ఎలైనగా నీవు నాకు తోడై ఉండదవు నీ దండము నీ దుడ్డు కర్ర నన్ను ఆదరించును కీర్తనల గ్రంథము ఇరవై మూడవ అధ్యాయము కృపచోపిమయ్యాపరాధిపమంచకైని కృపలోపరాధములను క్షమించు నపమంచకైనీ కృపలో నపరాధములను క్షమించు అపరాధిని కృపచోపి బ్రోమయ్యాంబుగాదూరితి నేరంబులను జేసితి ఘోరంబుగాదూరితి నేరంబులను జేసితి క్రూరుండనై గోటితి ఘోరాంపు పాపిని దేవా అపరాధిని సయ్యా కృపచోపి బ్రోమయ్యా నపమంచకైని కృపలో నపరాధములను క్షమించు తిరక్తమునాకై పొందిన దెబ్బల చేత నిందాలు పెట్టితి నయ్యో సందేహమేలనయ్యా అపరాధిని సయ్యా కృపచోపి బ్రోమయ్యా పమంచకైని కృపలో నపరాధములను క్షమించు ముళ్ళాతోకేరేటంబు అల్లేని శిరమున నిడితి నావల్ల నేరమాయే చల్లాని దయగల తండ్రి అపరాధిని సయ్యా 
ಕ್ಷಮಿಂಚು ಶಂಬುಲನುಮೋಪಿತಿ ಕಲುಷೋಂಡನೇನು ಪ್ರಭುವ ಕಲುಷಾಂಬುಲನು ಮೋಪಿತಿ ಕಲುಷಾತ್ಮುಡನು ನೆನು ಪ್ರಭುವ ಅಪರಾಧಿನೀಯೇ ಸೈಯ ಕೃಪಚೋಪಿ ಬ್ರೋ ಮಯ್ಯ ನಪಮಂಚ ಕೈನಿ ಕೃಪಲ ನಪರಾಧ ಮುಲನು ಕ್ಷಮಿಂಚು ದಾಹಂಬುಗನಗಾಚೇದು ಶಿರಕಾನುದ್ರಾವನಿಡಿತಿ ದ್ರೋಹೈಜೇಸಿ ದೇಹಂಬುಗಾಯಂಬುಲನು ಅಪರಾಧಿನೇ ಸೈಯ ಕೃಪಚೋಪಿ ಬ್ರೋ ಮಯ್ಯ ನಪಮಂಚ ಕೈನಿ ಕೃಪಲ ನಪರಾಧ ಮುಲನು ಕ್ಷಮಿಂಚು ಪ್ರಕಾಲ ಬಲ್ಯ ಪುಪೋಟು ಗ್ರಾಕೋ ನ ಪೊಡಚಿತಿ ನೇನೆ ನಾವಲ್ಲನೇ ಚಲ್ಲಿ ದಯ ಗಲ ತನ್ರಿ ಕಾಲ ಬಲ್ಯ ಪುಪೋಟು ಗ್ರಾಕೋ ನ ಪೊಡಚಿತಿ ನೇನೆ ಮೀ ಕೀಲಿ ಬಾಧಿಂಚಿತಿ ಮಾಕೋವಚೋಪಿತಿ ವೈಯ ಅಪರಾಧಿನೀಯೇ ಸೈಯ ಕೃಪಚೋಪಿ ಬ್ರೋ ಮಯ್ಯ ನಪಮಂಚ ಕೈನಿ ಕೃಪಲ ನಪರಾಧ ಮುಲನು ಕ್ಷಮಿಂಚು ಶಿಕ್ಷಾ ಕುಪಾತ್ರುಡನಯ್ಯ ರಕ್ಷಣ ತೇಚಿತಿ ವೈಯ ಆಕ್ಷಾಯ ಭಾಗ್ಯ ಮುನೀಯ ಮೋಕ್ಷಾಂಬುಚೋಪಿತಿ ವೈಯ ಆಕ್ಷಾಯ ಭಾಗ್ಯ ಮುನೀಯ ಮೋಕ್ಷಾಂಬುಚೋಪಿತಿ ವೈಯ ಅಪರಾಧಿನೀಯೇ ಸೈಯ ಕೃಪಚೋಪಿ ಬ್ರೋ ಮಯ್ಯ ನಪಮಂಚ ಕೈನಿ ಕೃಪಲ ನಪರಾಧ ಮುಲನು ಕ್ಷಮಿಂಚು ನಪಮಂಚ ಕೈನಿ ಕೃಪಲ ನಪರಾಧ ಮುಲನು ಕ್ಷಮಿಂಚು ಮರಣಮೋ ದೋ ಐ ವಾಕ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲಿ ಆಫ್ ಶಾಡೋ ಆಫ್ ಡೆತ್ ಐ ಫಿಯ ನೋ ಈ ವಿಲ್ ಪರ್ ಥಾರ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ಥೈ ರಾಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥೈ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ದೇ ಕಂಫರ್ಟ್ ಮೀ ಗಳಾಂಧಕಾರಪ್ಪಲೋಯಲೋ ನೇನು ಸಂಚರಿಸಿನ ಏ ಅಪಾಯಮನಕು ನೇನು ಭಯಪಡನು ನೀವು ನಾಕು ತೋಡೆಯುಂದುವು ನೀ ದಂಡಮನು ನೀ ದುಡ್ಡು ಕರೆಯು ನನ್ನು ಆಧರಿಂಚನು ಕೀರ್ತನಲ ಗ್ರಂಥಮು ಇರವೈ ಮೂಡವ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯ ಏ ಹೋಮ ಕಾಪರಿ ಹೋಮ ಕಾಪರಿ ಮಾಕೋಲೇ ಮಿ ಕಲೋ ಗದು 
నడంధకార పొలయలో నేను సంచరించినను ఏ అపాయమునకు భయపడను నీవు నాకు తోడై ఉండదవు నీవు నాకు తోడై ఉన్నావు నీ దండమును నీ దుడ్డు కరయు నన్ను ఆదరించును కీర్తనల గ్రంథము ఇరవై మూడవ అధ్యాయం ఎంతో వింత ఎంతో చింత సొంత జనులు చేసిరంత ఎంతో వింత ఎంతో చింత సొంత జనులు చేసిరంత ఎంతో వింత ఎంతో చింత ఏసునాధూ మరణమంత పంతమోతో చేసిరంత సొంత జనులు స్వామినంత ఎంతో వింత ఎంతో చింత ఏసునాధూ మరణమంత పంతమోతో చేసిరంత సొంత జనులు స్వామినంత సొంత జనులు స్వామినంత ఎంతో వింత ఎంతో చింత ఏసునాధూ మరణమంత ఎంతో వింత ఎంతో చింత ఏసునాధూ మరణమంత పట్టి కట్టి కొట్టి నేటి 
तिटिरेसो नाधुन कटा पट्टी कटी कोटी ने तिटिरेसो नाधुन कटा आटी श्रमला नंदी पलुका दाए ये सो स्वामी नाडो आटी श्रमला नंदी पलुका दाए ये सो स्वामी नाडो यंतो विंता यंतो चिंता ये सुनाधु मरणमंता सुनता जनोलो चेसीरंता पंतमो तो स्वामी नंता मैयले ने ब्राणी वकटे मोपेरे सो विपो पैने मैयले का मरानी तोड़ा मोचा बोये ने सो अकाटा यंतो विंता यंतो चिंता ये सुना दो मरना मंता पंतमो तो चेसी रंता सोंता जनोलो स्वामी नंता कोई आपने सायन बैठे कालो से तुलालो जीरल कोटे कटिनो लंता कोडी गोटे कटी रे सो ना धो ना कटा यंतो विंता यंतो चिंता ये सो ना धो मरना मंता सोंता जनोलो चेसी रंता पंता मोतो स्वामी नंता दाहमो गोना छेदो छिरका द्रावा निडिरी द्रोहो लकाटा धात्री प्रजला बाद कोर्ची धन्योडा दिवेके गेनहा हा यंतो विंता यंतो चिंता ये सुना दो मरना मंता पंतमो तो जैसी रंता सोंता जनोलो स्वामी नंता बल्ले मो तो प्रकान बड़ा वन कारे नीरो रक्ता महा ये रे पारे ने सुरक्ता मेल्ला प्रजला कलमी न सागो यंतो विंता यंतो चिंता ये सुनाधु मरना मंता पंतमो तो जैसे रंता सोंता जनोलो स्वामी नंता यंतो विंता यंतो चिंता ये सुनाधु मरना मंता मरना मो डेथ गड़ांध कार पलोयलो नेरो संचरिंचनेरो ये आय मनको नेरो भय पढ़नो नेवनाको थोड़ा ही उन्नेदो निदान्दमो निदुड़ करा ननो आधर इंचनो केतने लगरांधमो इरवे मुड़ावा आध्यायम
though i walk through the valley of shadow of death i fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me psalm 23 Psalm 22 precedes Psalm 23 without Psalm 22 there is no Psalm 23 Isaiah chapter 53 precedes Isaiah chapter 58 without Isaiah sub chapter 53 there is no Isaiah chapter 58 suffering precedes eternal joy without suffering there is no partaking of heavenly inheritance in all the suffering man has to learn obedience through suffering christ learned obedience if the master of the house if the heir of salvation if the only begotten son of god were to suffer in this world afflictions humiliation even death what am i what are you sufferings are inevitable through sufferings man is expected to learn obedience sufferings should not be denied sufferings should not be rejected when sufferings come man should not give place to disbelief man should not dishonor god through his murmurings through his acquisitions through his complaints man should not complain murmur grumble accuse disbelief in the existence of god when sufferings come rather sufferings are expected to make man obedient christ was obedient unto death and so he was accepted if christ the holy one if christ the sinless lamb of god if christ the image of god if christ the only begotten son of god if christ that has come in the place of god but to accept suffering in silence what is the preacher what is human race through sufferings man is expected to learn obedience christ was obedient unto death that is the very reason why christ is accepted accepted by whom accepted for what accepted by god himself the creator god himself the father god himself for what for the atonement of sins of mankind all the sins of mankind are atoned once for all through the sacrificial offering of Jesus Christ the only begotten son of god in this man can celebrate indeed in this man can rejoice indeed rejoice again i say unto you rejoice in the lord philippians 4 4 in what man should rejoice in what man should celebrate man should celebrate in the victory christ bought on the cross This is the day this is the day that the Lord has made that the Lord has made we will rejoice we will rejoice and be glad in it and be glad in it this is the day that the Lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it this is the day this is the day that the lord has made rejoice again i say unto you rejoice in the lord to the church in philip to the church in philippians paul is writing the letter rejoice again i say unto you rejoice rejoice in the lord there is true joy in the 
victory that Christ won for all the human race once for all irrespective of all our wills irrespective of all our ills irrespective of all our fragileness irrespective of all our sinful nature so easily prone to sin once for all Christ bought the victory for man over sin the forgiveness for all the iniquities for all the sins of man can just when man repents just when man believes in the work of salvation of god the salvation work the plan of salvation of god has already been accomplished the ark of salvation has already been made available prepared the ship of salvation is well prepared for the day of calamity for the day of crisis for the day of trouble for the day of the wrath of god and all those that enter into this ark of salvation will find grace in the day of calamity in the day of crisis in the day of the wrath of god that is going to come upon all the inhabitants of the earth have you received the grace of god have you entered into the ark of salvation it was so with noah it was so with the three sons of noah it was so with the wife of noah it was so with the three daughters in law of noah all the family was saved just by believing in the word of god what is the point in listening 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 and giving a deaf ear what is the point in knowing of the impending danger and not taking any caution not taking any precaution not heeding to the caution when the preacher was a school going child a primary school child the preacher learned so much so many lessons of faith from his faithful mother god fearing mother what a wisdom there is in fearing god in the fear of god there is wisdom though i walk through the valley of shadow of death i fear no evil why because david fears only one thing that is god to offend god to displease god to break the heart of god david desires and longs one thing to please god david meditates on the word of the lord day in and day out this book of the law be always on your lips joshua this book of the law should be always on your lips you should meditate on the word of god you should preach the word of god you should declare the word of god to the children of jacob he embounds the monument of faith the symbol of prayer writes in one of his books on prayers em bounds has written so many beautiful masterpieces on one single subject called prayer the weapon of prayer the necessity of prayer the essentials of prayer purpose in prayer prayer and praying men em bounds could so clearly elegantly write on the subject prayer to the audience it may appear to be so obvious it may appear to be so easy a task it may appear to be so simple a task of course em bounds has been the pastor over the methodist church for decades so he might be having so much funding he might be having so many resources he might be having so much offerings at his disposal he can use in the way he wants so obviously he will publish books for his credit for his name that might be the notion of the listeners don't we see so many people hearing 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 obviously at the end of the day misunderstanding the preacher misunderstanding the word of god the preacher has no other work to do just to convert the 
world just to convert make religious conversions and so the preacher is preaching that is the final conclusion of all the hearers but the truth is something else the fact is in absolute poverty em bounds wrote so many beautiful books on the subject prayer he was so poor that he do not have resources even to publish his works in the ministry of em bounds the thing of least priority the material of least order is money finances economy such is the status em bounds has given for wealth money not to use the things of god for his name's sake even if it were to be publishing spiritual books of course he do not have at his dispensation such luxury of publishing books by paying rather he amounts what he did in all his years of journey on the planet earth ever since he was born in 1835 15th august till he breathed his last in 1913 on august 25th he did one thing he prayed he is a mighty man of prayer as epaphra was a valiant man battling in prayer em bounds belongs to the pattern of apostolic preachers apostolic men mighty in prayer rather em bounds though he do not have at his disposal financial resources he used to honestly pray and was very confident that he could say that one day god will rise up a man that will publish my works it happened he amounts in those days used to run from pole to post for getting his works published by writing uh, such manuscripts of eternal value or significance on waste papers used envelope covers unused papers no one was willing to accept the work in those days for publishing only the prayers of em bounds were realized bear fruit after em bounds has breathed his last in fact indeed all the works of em bounds have seen the light of publication the preacher himself though unworthy so humble was granted the privilege to prepare all the audio and video books of em bounds and uh, post those audio video versions of the books and works of em bounds in youtube and other social media like facebook they are accessible to all for free this is the power of prayer because he was a man of prayer he could write so well on the subject prayer in spite of having so many constraints with funding constraints with financial resources his prayers were answered and all the works of em bounds are indeed stood the test of time a century have passed when is 1930 and when is 2021 is it not a century more than a century's life the works of em bounds had because they were founded on prayer em bounds practiced what he preached wrote what he practiced coming to the point fear the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom david feared nothing even death he feared only offending god he feared only displeasing god because his delight is on meditating the word of god love is available at his disposal the word of the lord is available 
though Asia has disregarded, looked down upon David by sending him into the wilderness to care for the little flock that he has while sending his elder siblings into the Pharaoh's army to serve the king what is considered as of esteem in the sight of men in those days to serve the king is so regarded as high a profession even today it is so we are in king's service so we are superior to all others that was the notion of the siblings of david david being the youngest when david goes to see his brothers and learn of their well being david's brothers misunderstood him have you come to shame us have you come to look down upon us misunderstandings are so common these days misunderstandings are the norm of the day when goliath was invading israel when everyone was fearful to face goliath it was the context in which david was visiting his siblings visiting his brothers that were in the service of the king upon the advice of his father his father advises go and see the well being of your brothers and hand them over this food just to do good david has come to his brothers only to give them food only to know their well being but his brothers being elder his brothers being privileged to be in king's service so close to king what are they doing they are ill treating they are mistreating they are misunderstanding the youngest brother is this the way to treat the youngsters pride goes before fall what all his elder brothers could not accomplish god made david to accomplish the lord shall rebuke the proud and give grace to the humble david is so humble in the sight of god that even though his father has disregarded him and sent him to wilderness to have his flock taken care of god has a different plan and purpose of david god will lift the humble not by strength not by might i will do it with my spirit how psalm 23 has come into existence how psalm 22 has come into existence why should it follow that order psalm 22 precedes psalm 23 isaiah chapter 53 precedes isaiah chapter 58 without suffering of the savior without the crucifixion of the christ without the pouring out of the soul of jesus christ as a ransom for the forgiveness of sins there is no eternal life there is no forgiveness of sins there is no hope of redemption there is no eternal joy for man that is why the order was so no scripture is man made no scripture is fabricated no scripture is duplicate no scripture is cut copy paste man is so well versed with cut copy paste technology today the main problem is what is original what is duplicate no one is able to distinguish market is flooded with counterfeit products milk is contaminated air is contaminated water is contaminated food is contaminated because human heart is desperately wicked to the core how should i exploit my neighbor how should i harm my neighbor how should i do injustice to the weak how should i exploit the weak is this not the heart of man human heart is desperately wicked so much prone to wickedness why obviously the reason is absence of the fear of god god is an abstract being god is an non existing being god is nowhere present god is not existing the wicked shall say in his heart that god is nowhere present and god is absent oh fool if god were to create eyes to see you will god not see if god were to create ears to you the god that has created ears will not hear the cries of the oppressed you will kill the righteous person yet he will not oppose you kayun killed hebel hebel has never opposed yet the righteous blood of hebel was crying out unto the lord even after his killing 
Though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I fear no evil. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou art with me. Do you have this assurance? Do you know where you are heading? A bottomless pit is awaiting. The hell fire is awaiting. The torments of hell is awaiting. This is the day to repent, to mend your ways, mould your ways, turn from your path of causing violence to your neighbour. doing injustice to the weak persecuting the righteous salvation is nothing but turning turning to jesus from wickedness to righteousness from wickedness to the fear of god just turn back hold back your steps from doing harm to the innocent from doing injustice to the righteous from causing harm to the weak then you are light will shine as the noon then your brightness will multiply then you will have healing your healing will spring forth speedily isaiah chapter 58 your healing shall spring forth speedily how shall this healing spring forth speedily without the wounds of jesus christ psalm 53 precedes psalm 58 by the wounds jesus received we are healed your healing will spring forth speedily because not because of your goodness there is no goodness in you or me human heart is desperately wicked the magnitude may be different the dimension may be different but yet irrespective of all of us what we are we are sinful in our heart we are all displeasing god in one way or other and we are just to repent we have to turn from our wickedness we have to turn from our wrong doings we have to turn from our disbelief do not be fearful do not be disbelieving rather believe the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom the meditation of the lord gives wisdom the meditation of the word of god gives wisdom heeds to caution ever since uh, the preacher has been a small school going child he learned much from his mother's faith there were times of flood the river was overflowing with water and it so happened that the house of the preacher was situated close to the banks of the river when the river was flooded obviously the house will be first submerged with no hope in such situation the preacher's mother being a teacher in a school in a school that is located in strong rock foundation well protected school that was strongly built and away from the river what does the mother preacher's mother does is takes a head before of beforehand the key of one of the rooms of the school in which she is employed as a teacher as a safety measure in time of calamity when there were to be a sudden flood when there were to be a dangerous alert let uh, let me take my three little ones and myself and run to safety a bit safer place a room a house a school room that was built with concrete strongly built and in second floor even though the ground floor is submerged the first floor the water will not rise up to the first floor with that notion with that preparation with that care with that caution took the one of the room keys in which she was employed as a teacher and makes all the cautious preparation when there is an alert for flood when there is an alert for rain when there is a harm and there is an impending danger should we not be prepared especially when the warning has been given by concerned authority how will we get such wisdom the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom the preacher himself has seen many famines the preacher himself has seen many floods the preacher himself has seen many torrential rains 
in all those things the preacher has observed that even in the night when there was uh, strong winds moving when there is all around darkness when there is absolute power cut his mother rises up awakes just kneels down before the bed of each of her little ones and prays consistently all through the night for the protection of god when the winds are strong when the rains are heavy downpour praying mothers are at a premium praying mothers beget prophets if there were to be no hanna if there were to be no prayer what hanna has prayed history has never seen such a prophet like samuel death death situations like death can be avoided by praying people through pray, through faith in god by meditating upon the word of god by exercising caution caution is warned should we not be heeding to the caution in the days of noah such caution has been sounded alert has been sounded warning has been given in the days of lot warning has been given in the days of the present time warning has been given but who is heeding take heed turn away from your wickedness turn away from your violence turn away from your corruption turn away from your wickedness of heart otherwise the sword is awaiting otherwise the calamity is awaiting otherwise the hell is awaiting you do not know when you will breathe your last have you entered into the safety have you hold the keys of the safety room do you have the keys of the shelter in the day of crisis in the day of calamity in the day of trouble and this key is the name jesus christ the name of the lord is a strong refuge the righteous shall run into it and are in safety even though the righteous fall seven times they will rise up with new strength as the sun, strength of the rising sun and everyone should hold the keys of this refuge the keys of this safe shelter and the name of this key is promise in the name of jesus christ he took all our iniquities upon himself he took all our transgressions upon himself just by believing in jesus christ we are holding the key of promise through which we can open any door in the in the time of calamity and have shelter in the hand have refuge praying mothers are at a premium praying fathers are at a premium job prayed for his little ones ah uh, we have known job has prayed and all his 10 children are dead on a single day don't we know the story of job are all the 10 children of job have not perished you have known only half knowledge you have known only half of the story you neither know the the beginning you neither knew the ending you have only known the middle little story you are only seeing the consequence you are only seeing the result but what is the cause god sees both the cause and the result who is the cause of all the adversaries who is the cause of all the misery who is the starting your adversary the devil is roaring like a lion whom to devour or whom to destruct is there any fault on job no god himself is testifying satan how you seen my servant job who is like job who has drank rejection like water dearly beloved you know the patience of job after many centuries of passing away of job the author of the epistle to james the author of the epistle by name james is referring to the patience of job dearly beloved you are not unaware of the patience of the person called job who is like job that has drank water that has drank rejection like water you know that the children of job have perished but you do not know that job was blessed with a double portion of blessing in honor of his patience God himself has testified to Satan who is like my servant Job 
Job has departed from he will Job is God fearing person Job is praying uh, early morning every day early mornings while it is still dark he is waking up and praying for the forgiveness of sins of his 10 children 